Hello everyone, this is Paul from Hi-Fi Mail. This screen is for Mercedes Linux screen. That is Linux system. It trusts only half price of the Android screen. Now, let me show you the details. Now, let me show you the details. You can see the Linux screen, it trusts only power cable and the LEDs in connection because it don't have GPS, also don't have 4G antenna. And on the side, you can see it don't have SIM card slot, also not have SD card slot. This is the power cable, the USB cable. It have the video connection that is connect to original video cable. A small speaker, a microphone. This the blanket. Different car ties. The blanket is different. This the USB AUX here. Only NTG 5.0, 5.1 offer this kit. Now this part I will show you how to connect the Linux screen. This the original display, the head unit, and this the original USB, right? After power off, you can remove the power connections. Okay, and also we need to remove the video connection of the display. This the power cable for Linux screen, right? Please notice when your car have the optical cable in this slot, you need to move to Linux screen power cable. Only that it can have the sound. Now this demo unit it don't have optical cable, so we just connect directly. And the original video cable connect to Linux screen and this side connect to Linux screen. And the power cable of Linux screen, we also need to connect it here. Okay. This cable audio out, you need to connect like this. Here, this adapter and this side connect to original USB one of them will be fine that's all the original connector it don't connect anything just leave it alone now we can power on here you can see now it get into the menu it start very quickly here is the menu for the Linux screen. Here. This will get into original car menu. All original functions work same as before. Now we connect the CarPlay. Just turn on the Bluetooth in your cell phone. And you need to pair the Bluetooth here. Here, this one, click it. Here, allow. Use CarPlay. Make sure the Wi Fi in your cell phone is turned on. Okay, here. And allow. That way, it will connect the CarPlay. Now we play a music. Here, yeah. it have sound, right? Please notice when you find there's no sound, you need to get into original car menu. Here, yeah. to take a look. Here, yeah. this the media, right? Because the sound go from USB, so we chose media here. Yeah. Here, yeah. USB AUX, we just connected. Okay, 
So that way it will have the sound when you play the music in the CarPlay game. This way is the sound of GoPro USB iOS adapter. Yeah, go through this and connect to original USB, right? Now I want to demo how to connect the OEM Bluetooth and use the OEM Bluetooth to play the music. Okay? So in this case I don't connect this adapter. I don't connect it. Okay? Go to OEM menu. Go to Bluetooth Audio Options here, you can see Bluetooth Audio device uh, Because this cell phone have connect to the CarPlay here So I want to disconnect the CarPlay first That way this cell phone can be searchable in the OEM menu here so uh, I just disable the CarPlay and disconnect it first uh, forget this card okay search again here you can see this my this the iPhone uh, this iPhone is here Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Allow. Here you can see in the cell phone you can see MP Bluetooth. It shows connect, right? The Bluetooth audio have activated in the unit. Here it can hear the sound. Here. So now the cell phone have connect to here. So we try to connect the CarPlay, but we need to notice there's a setting, a uh, system here, and use Cast Bluetooth channel set to on. Uh, here. That way we can use the original Car Bluetooth. So now we connect the CarPlay again now we connect the CarPlay this is the CarPlay right here allow use CarPlay that way it will connect to CarPlay allow here now what we do is need to choose the Bluetooth as the audio channel here and then we play a music you can see it have the sound right now the sound is go from OEM Bluetooth audio here so in fact you don't need to install this adapter 